So I moved abroad alone in my 40s. During a recession, the last time I did a crazy move like this was in 2007, during another recession. So I feel like, have I somehow made this a prerequisite? I do feel like my last move from my hometown in LA to New York would explain a lot as to why I did it again. When I moved to New York, I was 26 and knew that I needed to get out of LA. I was really unhappy there and I knew I wanted to move to New York. That was kind of it. So I had no plan. I had no money. I had about a month to live off of. I was changing careers, so I had no job lined up. Um, did I already say I had no friends? I don't know if I did, but I had no friends. Yeah, and that's when I was just like, in my 20s and oh my God, so invincible. And I can take all the risks, all of them, just line them up. Whew. Well, I'm glad I did it. It was one of the best decisions I'd ever made. And wow, if I tell you I went through every rite of passage. <laughs> the 15 years I spent in New York were incredible. And um, the friends I had made, lifelong. I have no idea what I would do without them. And I built a career there and the city, it, it's just, it has my heart and it always will. And truth be told, I miss it very much, but totally other topic. During those years, I knew that I wanted to move again at some point. And I knew I wanted to move abroad, learn a new language. That seemed like the natural next step. And people would ask me, well, where would that be? Where do you want to go? What other country do you want to live in? I'm like, well, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know. I trusted that when the time came, I would know. That there are so many places in this world that I'd never been to, that I'm so excited to explore, that if and when I was given the opportunity, I would take it. But yeah, 2020 happened. Then 2021 rolled around. I got COVID at the end of 2021. I was sick for three to four weeks. And then I got injured for an additional three to four weeks. So my birthday rolled around and I was like, I'm gonna get the out of here. <laughs> Not permanently, but January in, in New York is pretty, pretty brutal. Um, and I was just cooped up in my, my place and I really felt like my soul needed a, a recharge. So I went to a surf retreat in Mexico for my birthday and was just passing through Mexico City. And then I went back, I was like, all right, I'll stay for a month. It's a great place to go back and forth. But then towards the end of that month, I was like walking around and spending a lot of time on my own actually and really, really loving it. There was a moment when I was walking down the street and it was a beautiful night. It was a beautiful breeze. Just feeling an ease that I hadn't felt in a really long time and then feeling like myself again. And I hadn't known that I'd really even lost a bit of myself at that time, but I guess I did because I was like, holy shit, like what's going on? And I was alone, I had no one to say this to. I was like, okay, this is, uh, this is new. And I came home from that trip and I was like, okay, so this is it? How do I make this happen? That was it. <laughs> so I, I gave myself enough time to feel like I was able to tie up loose ends and uh, say goodbye to the city and my friends and to make sure that I didn't miss October in New York. So I left at the end of October. Been here ever since. And let me tell you, it's challenging as <laughs> There is a lot of things that I'm learning about myself, a lot of things that I'm learning how to handle, like extreme loneliness. The language barrier is no, tough, no, but in New York, there were so many challenges. So this is just another set. It's different and that's what I wanted. And I know I'm gonna grow so much from this. And just cause I'm 40 something doesn't mean that I need to stop experiencing that. No, no, no. This is one of my chapters. And to be honest, the longer it stays challenging, the longer I'm gonna wanna stay and really learn to adjust here. Cause I know I can do it. And I didn't come here just to take a break or um, live out some fantasy. I'm here to really disrupt my life and learn, like really learn, not just about the language and the culture, but about myself. I'm excited for what's to come. So yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> Thanks for listening. I'll definitely be sharing more about this journey. So stay tuned and if you like this video, 
like and subscribe. And uh, thanks again.